PICO, patient, population or problem, intervention, comparative or control group, outcome. Research question, do angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors lower blood pressure in patients with hypertension? P, patients with a hypertension. I, new ACE inhibitor. C, patients without hypertension. And O, blood pressure changes. Screening tests under the Wilson and Jogner criteria. Sensitivity, the true positives correctly identified. The specificity, the true negatives correctly identified. The positive predictive value, the proportion who test positive who do have the disease. The negative predictive value are the proportion who test negative who do not have the disease. And the likelihood ratio, the ratio of the probability of a positive or negative test result. Example, the D-dimer assay for pulmonary embolism. It has a high sensitivity of 85% with a low specificity of 68%. Therefore, a low D-dimer level makes the diagnosis of a PE less likely, but cannot rule out a PE. However, a high D-dimer level cannot rule in the diagnosis of a PE. Further investigation is required, such as a CTPA. Correlation, linear association, or also known as Pearson's coefficient of linear correlation. The OR values lie between minus 1 and plus 1. An OR value closer to 0 indicates a value's decreasing association. In a scatter plot, the line of best fit represents OR. Regression. The equation describing the relationship between two variables using a linear model y is equal to a plus b times x. a is the interception of the line with the y-axis when x is equal to zero and b is the regression coefficient, in other words the slope of the line. Quantitative data can be either numerical or categorical. Numerical data it can be discrete with finite values such as the number of COPD exacerbations in the past 12 months or continuous such as HbA1c levels. Categorical data can be binary with two levels such as being HIV positive or HIV negative. Ordinal with levels greater than two at which data can be placed in an order such as disease severity, low, medium and high. Nominal data that cannot be placed in an order, such as ethnicity. The normal distribution involves using the mean, the average of the observed data, standard deviations and delta, which is the measure of spread from the mean. This makes our confidence intervals, which are typically 95%, plus or minus 1.96 standard deviations of the mean. The skew distribution, a negative or left skew versus a positive or right skew. This uses the median and the interquartile range. The median is when our values are placed in order. The middle value or average of the two middle values is the median. And the interquartile range, which is when our data is placed in order and the data is organized into quarters. The interquartile range is the third quartile minus the first quartile. With a confidence interval, we can say with 95% confidence that the true mean lies inside this interval. There is also a 5% chance that the true mean lies outside this interval. The larger the sample size, the smaller the error. The null hypothesis. This states that there's no statistical significance between two variables and a measured phenomenon. The p-value displays how likely the data has occurred under the null hypothesis. If the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis. All null hypothesis values within the 95% confidence interval will give p-values greater than 0.05. The opposite of the null hypothesis is known as the alternative hypothesis. 
choosing a statistical test using either a parametric test or a non-parametric test. Parametric tests require normal distributions or greater than five frequency counts. Tests such as chi squared x test, Pearson's coefficient of linear correlation, t test paired or unpaired. For non-parametric tests using non-normal distribution or any frequency counts, you can use Fisher's exact test, the Matt Whitney U test, Spearman's rank correlation, or the Wilcoxon's test.